I know I can't predict the unpredictable. But if I were a betting man, I would put my money on this issue, illegal immigration and the utter collapse of our southern border. It seems intentional because nobody thought this was going to be a major issue, especially Joe Biden. He didn't see it coming. For Governor Kathy Hochul, who is publicly blaming President Biden for the migrant surge. All of us are going to be impacted by this. I said it last year when we had 15,000. I'm telling you now, with 110,000, the city we knew, we're about to lose. Yep, those are Democrats turning on the Democratic president and his administration for how poorly they've handled all this. The influx of around 6 million illegal immigrants and over 100,000 in our high-profile cities like New York. And it's killing social services, quality of life, flooding our streets, even overrunning our classrooms. In New York City, for example, over 20,000 children seeking asylum took over children's classrooms. Some of the kids that belong in the class couldn't get in the class over in Long Island City. The class were already jam-packed. The teachers already overtaxed and underpaid. Chicago, mayhem, migrants assaulting police officers, all while one of the nation's most popular airports, O'Hare, has been run over by illegals complaining, believe it or not, complaining about poor food, health care, and bedding. Remember when then-Mayor Lori Lightfoot kicked all the homeless out of there? Maybe he was just making room for the illegal, illegal immigrants. So, while blue states are starting to revolt and complain over the Biden broken border, which he did, they still somehow can't help but put the blame on a man who has not held office for three years. The migrants, this is a national problem. It should be handled by the national government. But let's be clear, this mess is, 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 is Trump, Trump like Republicans mess. That Trump Republicans created this mess. 30 years since we've discussed immigration and we're going to blame this president for the problems. For God's sake, how about ourselves? Are you kidding? What is worse that no matter how bad things get, it seems they still have not learned their lesson, trying to reverse any of all policies that will actually help. I'll give an example, Dick Durbin, like selling off parts of the border wall. Biden refuses to finish that wall and attempting to remove floating barriers put in by the governor of Texas in the Rio Grande. That was keeping illegals from crossing, maybe even saving their lives. I don't get it. And I'm sure I will never truly get it. But what I do know is this. This issue is not going away. And it just might be the pivotal issue in this entire 2024 election. So let's go over here. Joining me now uh, on the panel, which I've selected both of you at a huge roster of headshots, are two wonderful <laughs> people. Uh, the co-host of Fox and Friends First, Kali Shimkus, and somebody almost important, Ari Fleischer, yeah. Fox News contributor. Almost, yeah. He knows yeah, everything sure. there is. What's going on, guys? Great hey, to see you. Hey, thank That's you for having That's a flexible us. almost. Uh, that is, absolutely. <laughs> hey, uh, Kali, let me start with you. Yeah. And, and do you agree with me that this is absolutely. right, the pivotal issue? Well, listen. Even a year from now? Yeah. Uh, so a record number of illegal immigrant families just entered the country in August. So this problem has never been worse. And once these migrants enter the country, a lot of them go to Democrat-led sanctuary cities for obvious reasons, and it is crippling them financially. So much so that the governor of Massachusetts just asked people if migrants can live with them because they're running out of shelter space. Mayor Eric Adams says that over the next three years, this is going to cost New York City $12 billion. So the thing that I find fascinating, though, right now is the messaging. Democrats went from it is uh, immoral and racist to control the southern border to, you know, uh, to patrol it, to uh, Mayor Eric Adams saying that Democrat or illegal immigrants are just going to destroy New York. So they've well, identified the problem, the messaging so far. Well, blaming there. Trump, is that going to work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It will for the Democrats and it will for the mainstream media. And so it will for about 50 percent of the country. Um, that's you just depressed me because that's just in yet. It's just it's, not it's the case. just a sign of the polarized times that we're living in. And you why mean the, the same Democrats former president to that, do that sued sanctuary cities? But look, I want to make a, a bigger point here. Thank you to Governor Greg Abbott of Texas. If Governor Abbott had not started to bus people to New York City, this would have remained a red state problem only. And Joe Biden, the press all would have just looked the other way at it. They wouldn't have cared because it's 
a red state issue. By bringing it to New York and by bringing it to other cities, they've nationalized the issue as it deserves to be. And that's how you get a national solution. Democrats had to get involved to put pressure on the Biden White House. I'm going to stick with you uh, and talk about the terrorists that are crossing. I mean, overall, boarding crossings from the port of entry, uh, you have uh, the, the numbers going through the roof, but the amount of people on the terror watch list yep. is also going through the roof. We've never seen anything like that. From a guy that was at the podium in, on 9-11, yeah. what do you think as we come up to another 9-11? Yeah, we're, we're doing what was done pre-9-11, which is allowing people in the country who should not be allowed in the country. And then one day something's going to happen, and we're going to say, how did they get here? When you look at who's coming in, who's on that terrorist watch list, it's not only people from Latin America and Central America. It's all around the world now. These are not scare tactics. These are facts about who's getting in because it's so easy to get in. 